Um, yeah, man, co- confidence is, is really like the end game, isn't it? Like, that's the thing. I feel like all this self improvement, I feel like confidence is the end game. It's like, it's what, it's what everybody really wants. Just being comfortable in your own skin, having the confidence to do things that, you know, see, you know, like that can make you a bit nervous or something or whatever. Being able to not be able to do something and then work your way up to do something new and having, like, you know, being also being comfortable around others socially and having the confidence to talk to people you don't know and socialize. Like, if you're at parties, being able to, like, go to people you don't know and start building, you know, talk to people you don't know. And that can be very nerve wracking, but like meeting new people and expanding your social circle. It's one of those things where it's, it can make a lot of people nervous, but it's so valuable because meeting new people is just great. Like on my holiday, I'm meeting all these people from all these different countries. Like it's so, it's so fun though, meeting people from Africa and Spain and all that. And France, it's like, it's awesome. Like going up to French girls in a bar, be like, hey, is there anywhere better than this shit pub? <laughs> and then you just started from there. It's just like one of these things where, I, one thing, like, because confidence is all about your comfort zone, right? So, to be honest, being on this camera right now is kind of outside my comfort zone a little bit, but I'm kind of used to it a bit now as well. But your comfort zone is just the things you do all the time. So, anything you don't do very much is outside of your comfort zone, right? So, you have to try to do things. You like, you know, like, do things that make you nervous because it's good stress. That stressful, that stress you get is called good stress. It's like, it's called. U stress, it's EU stress, that's what it's called, that's how it's spelled. Because it could good there's distress, which is a form of stress like hunger or getting beaten up. It's like you're stressful in a bad way because it makes you weak. Whereas there is good stress like cold shower or something, or doing a workout, or talking to someone you don't know, making conversation with a stranger or something, or meeting someone new. That's stressful, but not in a bad way. It's not, not gonna hurt you. If anything, it'll make you better, stronger and more comfortable in these situations in the future. Like, you know, if you're, if you're in a new class, you don't know anyone, you've got to try to build friendships somewhere, you know? But I, I had to talk to Amir for the first time back back some, you know, back sometime this year or this term or like uh, this new year. You have to, having the courage to go talk to someone you don't know is actually a very important skill for networking, you know? Because it's, you meet new people and meeting a lot of people can allow you to make some good friendships and social circles are really important, so. I'll tag you in my go. How many opportunities do you think you have lost as a result of not having confidence necessary to act upon your desires? Think about it. There's so many jobs out there which you could potentially lose if you don't have the confidence necessary to ex- to illustrate your skills. If you may have the skills necessary to occupy that job, but if the boss sees that you're acting acting in a in a, in a less confident manner than the other applicants, then eventually that's going to be portrayed towards him. Your weakness is going to be on display. And as a result of that, you're not going to be provided with a job to feed your family. What do you think about the world's most successful people? They didn't just get where they are because of the fact that they're intelligent. At one point, they've realized that eventually they're going to have to cultivate this habit of having confidence. Even Bill Gates says that, oh, I was a very introverted person in, inside Bill Gates' mind on Netflix, and you can see this for yourself. He said, I was a very introverted person, but I actually had to cultivate the habit of networking, socializing, and, and having confidence because of the fact that I had to go to all these events, give these speeches, uh, give these talks, and talk to different people. Because if I didn't, my company didn't have the ability to run. If you don't have confidence, you don't have the ability to be an entrepreneur. You don't have the ability. You lose job opportunities. You lose networking opportunities. You lose grades because of the fact that you can't talk to your teachers. Because if you don't have the confidence necessary to do that, your teachers are going to knock. They're going to grade you down because of the fact that you didn't talk to them about your work. And because of that, your grades didn't improve. Also... If you don't have the confidence to do what you like, unfortunately, you're going to be living an unhappy life because deep down, you're going to be resentful and know that you're not living up to your potential and being the best possible version of yourself that you can be. So go all out. Go and set a challenge for yourself. Talk to one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four people a day. Just push yourself. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. See what you're truly capable of. Go open up those opportunities for yourself and see where it leads you. And trust me, you're going to be surprised. Sure, man. I mean, there's, 
I feel like that there are big mistakes being made about confidence, especially on like the YouTube space. Because there's all these, you know, ten top ten alpha traits videos and shit. But I don't think that's what it's about. I'm not sure if it's about being confidence is obviously like a masculine man is a confident man, but people are kind of missing the point a little bit because you can be confident without having to be like the, the leader or center of attention all the time. That's a separate kind of thing, right? So confidence is just the knowledge that no matter what happens, everything will be all right. That's what confidence is. Like we're in a situation that's a bit weird, but it doesn't matter what's going to happen. It'll, it'll be all right. That's what confidence is, right? Because it's that not knowing if things are going to be all right, which is leads you to be anxious and nervous about stuff, right? Even though, like, you know, you talk to a girl in a bar, like, you know nothing's going to happen. She ain't going to shoot you. Like, it'll, you'll be all right. But, like, you're still nervous. So you just got to you know, remember, it's, what's, what's going to happen? What's, you know, the worst thing that can happen, you've got to try to remember that. But also, just, like, um, being more, personally for me, being more confident, just be, I've become a lot more, like, extroverted and comfortable with, around other people. It, that's basically what's allowed me to feel much more confident and comfortable in my own skin. And that I've done that by, you know, talking to people and like, like, like when I was at my first year of uni, I literally went up like to people and talked and they said random stuff and it's just to do it because it's like really scary thing. I was went up to this girl and said, you look real cool, you look real nice today and walked off. Just didn't say anything else. It's weird, but just doing shit like that or like doing a new skill or a new sport or, you know, going, um, going to bars and talking to people you don't know. It's like just doing these things. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get. It's like when you ride a bike. When you're a kid, you don't even know what you're doing. But for us, it's now it's so easy, you're never going to forget it. It's like that. But when you learn to drive, you can't even turn it on when you first do it. But then, you know, God knows, two months later, you might be, you could be doing, you could be like a stick <laughs> running around the top gear test track. Like, that's the thing. Like, you understand this, like, confidence comes from doing things multiple times and being comfortable in them. And you have to leave your comfort zone the first time and be able to, be vulnerable because if you're doing something new you're vulnerable and you don't know what's going to happen but that's the thing being confident for me is knowing who you are i'm going to digress a bit it's about knowing it's your self-image is how do you see yourself like think you, you know like okay i'll just use me as an example like mark who is who who am i who am i like when i think of myself what do i think about do i think about certain traits and certain things and what i think about is that what i think or is it because is that just what I think because that's what other people usually put on me or my parents or teachers have put on me. It's like you have to build your own self-image of how you see yourself and that's a problem for a lot of people is because of, you know, they get bullied at school or something. They, they get perceived as like a weak, you know, weak person who's, and they lose confidence and they, it's, they think that's just who they are. But it's like, that's not who you are. You decide who you are in this world. You decide who you are, you know? That's the thing people don't, you know, you decide who you are. And the world will accept the image you place upon yourself. And if you start acting according, if you start acting as the confidence motherfucker on the street, people aren't just going to go, oh, I can see you're faking it. It's not going to happen, right? Like, sometimes you ha there's a phrase called fake until you make it, which in itself is, you know, you've got to be careful, but just, you know, thinking to yourself in your moments of worry or you don't feel like in the most confident place, just, or if you're doing something new, just think, how would a person comfortable act and then act like that? And that can that can help you, your body become a lot more relaxed because our bodies are biologically driven. So if you sit all relaxed and laid back and open yourself up, you're literally, your testosterone will increase. Whereas if you sit like this, like in the field position, you will literally, you'll start to get anxious. If you smile a lot, you'll, be, you'll feel good. If you don't smile, you won't feel good. That's the thing. Like you've got to walk straight, good posture, confident, yeah, I'm, I'm going on a rant. I'm going, I'm never stopping, mate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but like, good posture, man. Good body language. That's a start because that makes you feel good. And then just when you're talking to people, don't put them on a pedestal. They ain't nothing. They're, then there's another person. You can see the most beautiful guy you've ever seen. She might look like Kate Middleton, right? But she takes shits too. Like, she's not nothing. She's no perfect angel. You can't put anyone on the pedestal. No one's better than you, man. So when you talk to people... Just, you know, th you know, once you try to realise that, it can help you not be so nervous to be like, you know, so, oh, hello, this is just another person. There's nothing to be nervous about here. And that can help you. And yeah, you just got to go outside your comfort zone and be confident. Confident is a secret to life. Being comfortable in your own skin has always been my target. It's like, how comfortable can I get in my own skin in my own life? Bang. There you go. You can go in my mind. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> if you don't, it's, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. It's all to do with your self-image at the end of the day. How you perceive yourself to be is how you're eventually going to act. 
some of us may not necessarily have the best self image of ourselves because of past things that have occurred like my friend says we may have been bullied we may have been told we're stupid we may have been told that we're not going to get the grades that we wish to get don't worry at the end of the day it's you who determines who you are if you don't like what image you have created for yourself or what things have happened with the past put those things behind you set or out on a new journey and see where it takes you set out challenges for yourself you could talk to people regularly there's a whole host of things you can do in order to increase your confidence i personally was a very introverted individual however i went out on a journey in order to turn myself into an extrovert and if you want to do that that's perfectly fine that's perfectly okay there are going to be people that are going to say no it's not okay no you're cheating no you shouldn't be doing what you're doing it's not okay don't do that or no 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 that is not the way you live your life if you do that you're going to be unhappy or we'll figure it out for yourself see where it leads you that's the importance of experimentation you need to experiment try different things some people think oh there's there's only a one best diet in the world and you should do that Well people who do that on are, are just being closed minded and not really understanding themselves or understanding how other people's body bodies work. Sure there's some scientific piece, scientific evidence that's been produced that says oh these foods are helpful for you or these foods are not. That may not necessarily be what's best for you. You need to understand and experiment to see how your body works. Certain foods which are good for good for others may not necessarily be good for you because you're allergic to them. So forget the benefits. figure out what works for you and what doesn't like bruce lee says if you want to be confident you can do it you can talk to people regularly you can go out to toastmasters you can go to societies and join clubs at university there's a whole host of things for you to do and i that i could provide you with so many many more however i think you know it's simple and it's not difficult no that's the wrong way around it's simple but it is difficult you need to figure this out Just go out there do what you need to do set challenges for yourself try to talk to one person then two people then three people then four people then five people i did that at university it was very very awkward trust me i went first, out during the year. first year first and it year. wasn't good there were people who were giving me the evils there are people who are looking at me weirdly there are people who are thinking is there something wrong with this individual no there's nothing wrong with you don't feel think like that or feel like that about yourself this is an opportunity for growth if you want to be confident you can be confident and if you do that then all of these opportunities will open up to you more jobs better entrepreneurship better networking and socializing you open better friendships and better friendship groups clubs societies sports even and even better grades because of the fact that that confidence then translates into all aspects of your life life and permeates throughout it so if you want more confidence you can get it and it will change your life trust me about this just do it and see for yourself yeah i just just to wrap this up because we i think we've got some good stuff there i would just say the on the other side of fear is everything you want man everything you want is the other side of fear having People don't mention courage no more. Courage used to be, courage and honor used to be the complete definition of what a man is back in the day when people used to see warriors. Courage, going through fear, is the most important. I think that's how you should judge a man and judge a person in the world. Like how doing things that scare you, that's what really makes a man, in my opinion, and obviously a woman, too, like whatever. But like doing things that are uncomfortable, that's what I think. That's what makes you confident at the end of the day. and the other side if you if you did everything on the other side of all your fears is the person you want to be that's what you got to think it's like the person you want to be they would be able to you know it's like you want to talk to this guy at the bar who's looking at you and I be a bit nervous it's like the person you want to be they would do that wouldn't they ask yourself the person i see myself as in my head this ideal self would they be able to do it they probably would and try to have like an ideal in your head of this person you could be when you're 20 have that you know you wrong order to be what could i be like when i'm 20 or what can i be like when i'm 30 or 40 then at 40 i'm even better and 50 and 60 just make yourself better make yourself better constantly personally develop yourself make yourself more comfortable in your own skin in your own little mind space and like with you you know with people you meet and stuff the other side of fear is everything man and get role models as well you like you know tv even the fucking tv characters man tv you know i'm kind of losing you man you, you used to that Okay cool. Um but like 
TV characters. Like, honestly, for me, I watch Suits. And I was like, Harvey Specter is the confidentest motherfucker I've ever seen. I was like, I want to be like that. Something stupid like that. Watching James Bond going, I want to be like that. Something stupid like that can be the spark that sets you off, right? Just something like that. Just having some, you know, because you, you could have been a low, I was like a low confidence person, you know, and I could have just accepted that. But once you realize that you want to be more, then the world's your oyster. The world, once you realize you, you are not all you can be, then the whole world is open to you and you can become a better person, a stronger person. And yeah, you got to go through fear, have courage. Courage is probably the most important thing for your life, the courage to go for something, the courage to start a business, the courage to start a podcast that gets two viewers, the courage to do something crazy. <laughs> like, it's important, man. Confidence, courage. You know, you've got to go face the dragon and all that, you know. <laughs>